Hi everyone. <laughs> Sorry, a bit late this morning. I just dropped a glass on the floor and had to clear it up. <laughs> oh, so yeah, before the dog went and trod in here, I didn't want him to cut himself. <laughs> hi Terry, hi Lisa, hi Jill, hi Joe, hi Mrs. T, <laughs> hi Kate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I don't. It's going to be a, a quickish one today because um, I got things happening. <laughs> um, but let me just. This is yesterday's one that I took off. Let's just take it off. Just brush brush the salt off. I end up with salt granules everywhere. But this was the cornflowers and um. Buttercups. <laughs> hi. Who else haven't I said hi, Joan? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Bimo. Hi, Diane. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> no, um, let's start off by I'm going to paint poppies today because I can paint them quickly and. <laughs> I know, sort of, you know, how, how I want them to look. Um, I'm just getting a bit of these. Uh, I thought I might use these liquid ones that I've got. I've got the, I can't say who this is by, the Ballet Ho, Joe Ho, Ho, watercolour liquid, the cheap one. And I also got this um, Dr. P.H. Martin's concentrated watercolour. Look at the bite on my hand. It's so itchy. <laughs> I've got one on my arm up here as well. This is really itchy. Itchy. Cyril. Cyril's been a bit naughty. He's. Um, I'm just giving this a shake. <laughs> if you wonder what I'm doing. Because I haven't used this for years. So I thought it was about time. And um, although I've got three jars of water, they're not particularly clean. Except the one with the flowers in still is clean. There we go. <laughs> Who haven't I said hello to? Have I said hello, Kathy? Have I said hello, Marge? Marg? I always want to call you Marge. <laughs> and hello, Kerry. I think I've said hello. Hello, Tanya. Oh, hi, Debbie. And hi. Yeah, swamp water. It's not quite swamp water yet. It hasn't got to that grade. And this is the paper I'm using. <laughs> It's um, 300 gram, 140 pound, cold pressed, fine grain paper by Ha Ne Mu Hu. Helen Mu. I can never say it right. <laughs> Someone told me how to say it. Helen, thank you, but I still can't say it. I'm just So I'm just going to paint some poppies if I can. I've got some in my garden at the minute coming through in the meadow and they look lovely against the really vibrant green at the minute because we had rain yesterday and the rain has made everything look bad. I should have taken a photo really. I'll take one later and put it up on the community channel. Uh, Mrs T's asking what are my thoughts on Dr. On Mr. P. H. Martins, or is this Dr. P. H. Martins, should I say? Um, I bought a few about eight, nine years ago, and they're still half full. So I think that might um, <laughs> give you what I think. I like them, but I don't know. They're, I think it's, it's a, I think it's a personal choice, really. So, right. I'm going to use my flippy floppy sword brush and because I've been painting really delicate um, paintings lately I might try a delicate I just sorry I keep wobbling this because I like the way it wobbles <laughs> I thought I might paint a um, delicate poppy maybe so anyway I'll just get going my paints people keep asking me what color what what colors I use and my paint palettes are a mixture. These are schminkle, schminky, or whatever you call them. I've got lots of Windsor and Newton ones. Um, I've got Mission paints. This, that's a, these are all schminky, and the ones along there are a mixture of 
different ones. So these are schminky, schmunkle, what I don't know what you call them. And then mainly on here are Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton. These are probably mostly Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton. And there's a couple of, oh, I, can, I can never say what they're called, talents, talents. Let me read it. Uh, Royal Talons. There's a couple of those in there as well. So they're just colours I like. So if I like a colour from a brand, I, I will just um, stick it in here if I like it. Yeah. Well, uh, Mrs. T is just all about your these. Well, if you, I don't know. I can't really say. Um, I, I use it today and you can see how I use them. I mean, lots of people use them just, I don't think they last very long. That's what I think. I think they're, um, you can buy these ones, which are the same and they're much cheaper, but I'm not sure where you can get them. I get these from Sea Whites of Brighton. Um, I'm sure Jackson's sell them or something. Something like that. So it's a personal choice. But just go and buy one bottle or something and have a try <laughs> of a colour you know you like or you make, yeah, a colour you like, and then you can go and see if, see if you like it and invest in more. <clears throat> right, um, poppies. I want a big brush for this one, so I'm going to use my. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and do them really loose and lots of what this is a Prince in Princeton Neptune brush and I think or is that one the mixture of sable I think it's a mixture of bristles but I'm, I'm going to use this one because I haven't used this one for a while and I know it holds lots of water someone Kerry someone told you they're not light fast um I haven't they bleach out really lovely, <laughs> that's all I can say. If you're going to do like a, if you want the bleach to work, they bleach out wonderful. So maybe they're not that light fast, but unless you're sticking your painting, which is very unlikely right in the bright sunlight, um, I wouldn't bother. Um, brushes that hold a lot of water, if you're, like like me and paint wet and wet they're good good to get right I'm gonna start painting otherwise I'll be here forever chatting <laughs> uh, this is just a mixture of lots of different greens and blues and I'm just gonna do that <laughs> just to start something <laughs> jumbo brush it's a number 18 because I want this really wet and splodgy so you're just gonna see me doing splodges with my nice clean water it's a bit got green in it yeah so I'll just get something on the page to start off <laughs> oh no Melissa I've just started <laughs> I was just chatting a bit so um you're all right so right let's let's get this this doctor, this is Scarlet. I'm just going to use it straight from the. This is what I like with them about them because they do that a lot. So these are my, where my poppies are going. <laughs> Stick some more in here. Now, I'm not really worrying about what all the splodginess. Who's splodges? Put some more splodges. There can be one up there. Just that one out a bit make it into a poppy shape and put some here in the back some in the background some splodginess splodgy splodgy <laughs> right, so that's the dr ph martin stuff now i've got some bleach i'm just going to stick that in because i know this oh it's gone black it must have black in the Ooh, that's that looks different. I'll put it at the bottom. It's made it go grey colour for some reason. And I'm gonna splosh a bit of this in too. 
you see what that does. Oh, that's nice and darker red. This is um, crimson. Crimson. <laughs> see, that looks like poppies already. And the bleach granulates as well, which is really good, which I like. I'm just looking to see what, what I can do next. <laughs> Does that, yeah, they look like poppies. That's the middle of that one here. Um, I like to add a darker colour. I was going to put the... Um, hmm, this is a, should I put ink? Let's put... Well, ink takes over. So, Or should I just use one of the watercolours? I've got a dark one somewhere. Dark grey. That will work. Sorry, I'm leaning over everything. I've got bleach all over my boobs now. <laughs> um, this is one of these. And I just want to give the poppies a darker centre, see, in some areas. And this is going over the bleach that I did. Breakfast Club. <laughs> I'm just going to blot it out a little bit because I want the centres. And I'm going to do my um, sandpapering because I like sandpapering and the texture if I can find the sandpaper. And now I need a new bit. Sandpaper, some I've, I've just got a red one here. That looks pretty. I need a clean bit of um, tissue. I know I've got to clean what's this the human here, Frankie and Benny's napkin. <laughs> how am I, how am I gonna draw all that together? <laughs> I don't have no idea, Kate. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's gonna got my poppies. Can, can you see I like painting poppies? <laughs> right. Let's get some stems and things happening and then you might be able to um, picture what's going on. <laughs> Oops. I haven't got a steady hand this morning. I've got dropsy today, breaking stuff. Right, let's do some. These green has gone red. <laughs> it just followed everything that. Right, I'm going to add some background in, in a minute as well. Sort of down here, I'm going to make it come darker to light, dark to light. I like this brush, this is flippy floppy, and I'm not worried about it all bl 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 blending. <laughs> I want some of that nice Indian red that I've got, I think it's in here. Let's stick that in. Is that the Indian red? I don't know. Yeah, this is the Indian, is it Indian red or Indian something? One of the P.H. Martin's colours that I love. Yeah, Indian red, this one. There's hardly any in the bottle. This is the one that I do use though, Mrs. T. Because <laughs> it granulates lovely. But it's a colour, it's not really red, it's brown. <laughs> and I'm going to add some blue, 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 blue to it. Just to make this bit darker in the corner. Mm, this look nice. Sorry, I was covering my mouth up there. Don't cover your mouth up when you're speaking. People can't hear you. I have to tell myself. <laughs> right, and I want some turquoise. I'm going to have to get it 
fresh out of the tube. My cobalt turquoise, this one. Cobalt turquoise light. I'm going to stick a blob there. Look how lovely that colour is. We need to run out of that one. I'm just sort of letting this sink into the paper because I'm going to come and... Um, I want this area up here a bit lighter. She paints it darker. No. <laughs> Not quite sure how this is going to turn out. But, you know, is it intuitive um, watercolor painting? Is it raining where you are? Oh dear, it's not raining here. I think it might. Oh, this is um, alcohol. I'm just dropping a bit. They looks a bit like um, just gives a bit of dimension. They look a bit like um, if you think it's in a meadow, they look a bit like flower dandelion things coming through. And I'm going to sprinkle lots of salt as well, especially down here where the darker bits are. And up here, <laughs> gonna make it all textury. And then I've got my blotting paper, lots of blotting paper. This is blotting paper you use for cal calligraphy. <laughs> yeah, today I don't care. <laughs> Such abandonment. So I'm just blotting it. It gives a lovely texture in areas. I did use this the other day. I showed you how to use it, and you can also blot out like stems and, and things and just go crazy with it. <laughs> These are going to look like poppies, I promise you, in one, well, sort of abstract poppies in a, <laughs> oops, I've still got green flies here. <laughs> right, I need to add some, this is just a blob there. Add some green, dark green, to get some greens in to make the make the uh, reds pop a bit. I should be using that a flippy floppy brush for this to do some grass working through it. Wee. This was going to be a delicate painting, wasn't it? <laughs> but it's not. It's not. <laughs> I'm going to start um, painting around some of the shapes of the poppies now, so you, you, you will see them taking shape. Bit nice bluey green here. So you can paint over things. It is still sort of translucent, but it gives a nice depth to your painting. And this is a like a poppy up here and this is where I, I tend to use lots of negative painting add a bit of salt in because um, we like a bit of texture and then we can blot out areas just to make it look like grasses Um, and if you like painting poppies, this is like a, a plug from my class, which is really old, but it's really good. <laughs> it's called Poppy Painting Masterclass, and it's on my um, it's on my um, Mitzi Paints um, site. If you're interested, anybody, <laughs> I'm I'm going to start. Um, I've let a few more people, and I haven't used it for ages, that site, because it's become a bit redundant, but I've got my old classes on there, and I'm going to sort of um, bring it back to life a bit, I think, because I do pay for the um, site to be there, so I may as well use it, and I thought 
I use it for people to share uh, things like if you paint along with me or try something and ask questions and things like that because you can share your photos of stuff there as well which would be cool like if you're stuck with something if you want some constructive criticism I, I'm quite good at doing that <laughs> I will do that if you've got a painting and you want like something's not working out or you want some advice or something I can do that for you as well it's called oh Joan it's called uh, mitzipaints.com um, you have to be approved to be go on there I, I'm going to try and do it I'm going to try and um, let people on and go on it a bit more but I won't today because I'll be I won't be sort of around much today but tomorrow and Saturday I will try oh. <laughs> thanks Kate you're worried where this one's going can't you see there's those poppies <laughs> poppies in a field <laughs> I don't know where it's going but it's going You can see where it's going. I might have um, gone a bit crazy, but it's good. I've slapped everything on here, haven't I? Do -do. <laughs> it's not a delicate one. I said it was going to be a delicate painting today, but it's not. There's Cyril. It's letting everybody know he's here. Right, let's do some middles middle middles I need a black there you go right. maybe they, they have green middles don't they but I haven't got a green I can't find my green pencil maybe I'll start off with yellow and then add a bit of black <laughs> so you can see now <laughs> um, let's do some maybe if I do this, <laughs> these are the, um, what do you call them, stamens. There's a poppy. <laughs> and I'm going to use a bit of... Um, red that I've got in here just to bring this one into um I haven't yes, I have got a red pencil here we go look you can um see that's a poppy it's got frilly bits and everything <laughs> um this is a poppy here <laughs> I'm trying not to make them all so um what do you call it? Prominent. <laughs> uh, Kelly's asking if I use ink, ink tent sticks. I did have some. I had a red one and a black one that I use specifically for um, poppies when I did my poppy paintings. I used to use them all the time, but I haven't bought any more. I thought they were quite expensive when I bought them, but um, because I only use them to like sand and stuff, I didn't really um, <laughs> use them properly, <laughs> so to say. Let's sort of do some scrapey things happening. And I want some like buds. 
There's a lot going on in this painting. <laughs> Maybe it like represents my head at the minute. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's lots here. I don't know. These were the um, blobs that um, changed those into. Um, they were the alcohol blobs, weren't they? Which is quite pretty. Put a bit of bleach in. Cyril's telling me. Sticking bleach in here. See up. I forgot to turn it off yesterday. I don't know why I've had it set. I don't need to get up at the minute. That's for um, my son's college. He hasn't been there for ages. And it hasn't gone off before. Some settings must have changed or something. <laughs> this is a dark poppies, isn't it? It's a dry lighter. <laughs> Yeah, I've been painting for 24 minutes. Yeah, I'm, I amaze myself sometimes, Kate. <laughs> like, how did I do that? How did that happen? I don't always know what I'm doing, but subconsciously it works. I'm just blotting out some things. Yeah, abstract is good. Try just don't, you don't have to paint every detail of a flower to make it look like a flower, unless you're doing like botanical painting, which I can do, but I don't enjoy it as much as doing this, because this you can just do this. <laughs> um, I did want to, I did have them here. Where are they? I'll see if I can reach them. I want my um oh yeah, got them. Cool. I use them a lot in my other art. These <laughs> they're really used. Really used. Uh, these are those neo colours. And they're water soluble. And if I can find the right colour, see how much I've used them. This <laughs> I used to. Well I haven't done this for ages. Right, when I did a poppy painting. I used to um, do scribbles. <laughs> Just to define sort of areas and places. I did say this was going to be a quick one this morning, but I'm enjoying it, so... I just like scribble with them <laughs> where I want the colours to like you can get some nice things and um, I don't know if I got a red yeah I got a red you can define the more of the poppy shapes that's a poppy there and I keep pulling out things that you probably didn't see but I know are there Where's my green? I need a green pencil, that's a darker green pencil, this one, to give this one a stem. Mm, wibbly wobbly stem. And then you can use the darker, darker colours as well. I've got insects crawling across my page, go away. But I'm, I'm going to try not to get carried away with doing this because I tend to. <laughs> then it looks a bit overworked. But I'm, I don't want to. This is a bit of a. Um, I was trying to keep it light and airy, but it didn't work, did it? <laughs> Make some a 
dark a bit. So I was trying to make these look like they're all in a field sort of thing with the grasses. It's quite abstract one. <laughs> But it's nice. Put some more buds in. Where does it need? Does it need more? So I can stop getting a bit carried away. <laughs> There's some lovely things going on, which I like. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it here because it's, I think it's finished. <laughs> I will take my camera off the thing and then I will show you it in a bit of close up. So careful. <laughs> if you feel a bit sick, sorry. Here we go. Look. Poppies, my squeaky chair, sorry. This is quite pretty, and this is pretty too, down the bottom, and that looks nice, this is where I've drawn with the um, Neo colours, up here, there, there we go, <laughs> I'll take a picture, the light's not good today, sorry, so it looks quite dark, but it's going to dry lighter, remember that watercolours always dry lighter, so um, it will be light, there will be light in it. Oops. <laughs> Lots of colour and texture and ab abstractness, which is cool. So that's a bit of light in there where the sun's shining. Just <laughs> blot a little bit more. I like blotting because it makes texture as well. So this is a very textury, poppily. <laughs> painting and done in I'm not sure how long half an hour <laughs> yeah I did use salt this is my salt canister so if you see me shaking this about <laughs> that's what I use I use salt um, alcohol bleach uh, blotting paper sandy sanding those um, water soluble pastel things I used and I use pencil crayons, these um, water-soluble ones. These are Faber-Castle Aqua Grip ones. I know people are going to ask me. And I also used Neo colours. They don't look like this normally. <laughs> these are very old. Yeah. Old and used and abused. <laughs> and then watercolour over the top of it. So. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I could do half an hour. I did that in half an hour. I used to like just paint all day and I used to knock out hundreds of them. But I just tend to um see I'm still fiddling. <laughs> Stop. Anyway, I've got to go now. <laughs> these no, these are neo colours. These are Neo colours, they're water soluble wax crayons by um, Crayon Dust, Crayon Dust, I think that's who they're by, I can't remember. And the, because um, these are so used, you can't see. Um, does bleach eat the paper? No, it doesn't. I've got, if you use, <coughs> I've never, sorry, um, it's never, I've, I pulled out a painting from like 20 years ago that I'd used bleach on and it hadn't done anything to the paper, so that'd be good. I can't turn it off when I'm on live, sorry. It just goes on to snooze. So, and now I've got watercolour all over the bottom of my box. Okay, <laughs> thank you everybody for watching and I will see you tomorrow where 
I will. I'm not sure what I paint tomorrow. Let's see, surprise. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Have a lovely day, night, wherever you 